Hi, this is the Tech Radio Show, and I'm your host, Harry Azuzian. Today, we have a great product to show you, listeners. With us today, we have the world's first glasses-free 3D handheld portable gaming system, the Nintendo 3DS. The 3DS successor to Nintendo's popular DS handheld game system. The 3DS is pretty much the same thing as the DS, except it has some major improvements, and that's what we're going to be talking about mostly today. First things first, the 3DS has a 3.53 inch top screen that's full 3D. Now the 3D can be turned on and off via the 3D slider on the right side of the system. And chances are you're going to want to turn it off because after long periods of time, your eyes will start to get tired and you'll start to get headaches from the 3D. Other than that, the 3D does add a nice effect for games and movies that you're watching and playing, and it adds a nice sense of depth. Besides playing and watching 3D games and media, you can also take 3D pictures with a 3D camera that's built in. The quality of the camera is not that great, but it's a fun little feature that's fun to play with. Now, besides the camera, the games and everything, the 3DS also has an MP3 player built in. You just gotta put your MP3s on a uh, SD card, pop it in, and you can listen to them wherever you want. Besides the features I already talked about, the 3DS has a slew of other features, such as an internet browser, a touch screen, a gyroscope, and much, much more. Now we're going to compare the 3DS to other 3D products out on the market today, starting with the 3D TVs. Now, compared to the 3D TVs, the 3D is not as good on the 3DS, but you also don't need glasses to view the 3D, and the 3DS is portable, so it's kind of a give and take there. The 3DS is also a lot cheaper, so it kind of depends what you're looking for. Another product we compare the 3DS to is the new HTC Evo 3D. It's a new 3D phone. Now, compared to the 3DS, the 3D is better on the phone. It has a better camera and has way more features. But if you're strictly looking for video games, then get the 3DS. Other than that, the 3D phone is definitely better. Now, at the current price point of $169.99, I think the 3DS is a great deal. But if you're looking for something more than video games, you're not going to find it here. Now this is the final part in our podcast. We're going to give a grade to the 3DS. Now before I grade it, I just want to say, like I said before, it's uh, good for just video games really. There's a lot of flaws I feel like. The uh, camera, the MP3 player, all the features, they could all be improved. And maybe in the future they will be improved like via an update or something. But for now, I'd have to say the 3DS, it's alright. I think I'm going to give it a B- minus for my grade. It could be better. Now that's all for this episode, guys. I guess I'll see you next time when we review the HTC Evo 3D phone. So that's all, and see you later.